Oh, yay. Don't you just love balance? I play Reno, I poof away his board, and I just go face for free. Holy. So, we still need to find a one drop. We haven't found a one drop so far while playing this deck. But we can find one. Wow. This is awful. I want to point out Okani, but I need a one drop. I need to be able to fight for the board here. Nothing turn one. I think I coined this out. This sucks, but I have to. Then turn two is this, which is not bad. Turn three is hopefully we find a three drop, but like into this into a matchup where you're playing against another hunter, you have to fight for the board as hard as you can, I think. You just have to fight for it. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'll hit here. I'll force him to trade into my 2-2, two -two, because if he dooses to kill another way and hit face, Wandering Monster triggers. Thunderbringer's not worth it, in my opinion. I disagree. I think Thunderbringer has a lot of power spike potential. Like, it can be nuts. Yeah, I do nothing on this turn. This deck needs more three drops. I can't have a deck like this that literally does nothing on turn three. This is a tempo deck that literally skips its turn three. That is unreal. I need to get rid of Frenzied Fangs, I think. Uh, we'll do this. It's a bonus effect. I don't know what it's going to be, but Okani... I, I can't trust it. Divine Shield? Sure. I'm just trying to think about like what I need to do. Because I feel like they're tr it's trying to go for too much value. Legitimately. Like, Reno is good enough. I don't need... I mean, I'll outvalue them, I think. So I'm just going to keep trading in. No, I didn't need to trade in that time. That was a bad trade. But, like, if he has bananas or doggy or um, his own chameleon thing and he can trade in... I don't know. I'm just trying to live here. But, like, taking out Neptalon, Thunderbringer, Rag... Taking out those three massive cards, I think it's worth. I think it's worth, no? I can't kill the 4-8 right now, which is kind of upsetting. Maybe we get bananas off of this? I don't know. We take that out, we put in some three drops, we have better tempo. We still have insane late game. Like, it's not like we don't have the nuts as our late game. Well, we'll trade this first, see what we get. Hidden meaning. We'll stop a, uh, a spell. No, we'll stop a minion. He wants to play like Hydra Lid on this turn. Rush in, hit that. We'll we'll kill it off in like a turn. It's fine. You have decent value. I think we just need more. Um, damn, they did counter it. I would have expected them to have played their early minions. That's weird. Yeah, putting in a three drop because we have Astalor, we have Reno. We'll still have King Crush as well as the Stranglethorn Heart. Lorthamar is not bad, like it can still pump up several things. Oh, okay. Install these for me, won't you? That is very, very sucky. And I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to kill off his Titan. So this is gonna go here. Hydralodon immediately dies, uh, which sucks. So, but I still have to play it. I still have to play it and hit here and here. It's not bad. I just go face. There's no reason to trade into these things. But now I have these two giant elementals that are literally just stuck in my hand. So I think that it's actually bad to have Thunderbringer. I just hate Thunderbringer as a card. I think it's fucking awful. Best deck right now is either Warlock, per probably, or Elemental Shaman based on my own personal experience. It felt insane. We can put in Sir Finley. Oh my god, that is a greedy fucking play. What? That is so greedy. Holy shit. You want to activate the ability, right? No, are you gonna play a new weapon or something? That's kind of weird. I mean, I don't think I really mind that too much. 
Oh, yay. Don't you just love balance, by the way? Don't you just love balance? I play Reno, I poof away his board, and I just go face for free. Holy shit, that is broken. And I got rid of his death rattle, so he doesn't even get the mech minions. That's huge! They're at 10 HP, what are they gonna do? For a tempo deck like this to not have three drops, yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't really care. I just play rag and I beat the crap out of you, no? Surprise. <laughs> Take eight damage to the dome with rag. Also, it's bugged. Um, if we both play Reno, it still looks like Reno's over there sometimes, so it's it's a little bit bugged. If they play Astaloid, then I play Neptulon and I kill it off. Wow! That's so rude! I need them to not gain armor next turn or heal. Unfortunately, they could heal. Pausic? Interesting. No, we can't play around Hollow Hound. We have to flood. We have to go for it. We have to go for it. Honestly, we have to. Because, I mean, like, if they don't have Hollow Hound, they're going to play Taunt Minions. They can play Astalor. They m may bring it back. And I've already played a minion. That's going to be Hollow. I can feel it in my bones. I don't know. Like, I already had to summon this minion, so they're already healing up three. Which means I'm already not going to kill them for a couple of turns. Fair enough. Okay, I'll take that. I still think three drops are better. Rag was cool. I think against Priest, I might be in trouble. I'll keep the one drop. I kind of want to keep the two drop because of Greedy Partner, but at the same time, there are other two drops that I think are better than keeping a secret. So I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit here. Druid is the best in terms of Reno decks. I agree. Oh, your shadow. I'll play that. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. If I don't draw a two drop, I might just go sneaky snakes because it'll get plus one plus one. It's not mana efficient though, so maybe I don't do that. And it's close enough. No. I actually have to do this and not play greedy partner. I should have just kept the two drop. I think going for it, cause like, here's my thing. I'm not, I'm not used to mulliganing yet. I'm not used to like knowing how important certain things are. But I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten other two drops in my deck. So one in every four cards, statistically speaking, it wasn't unlikely that I get it. It's just, wow, I'm getting unlucky. Holy shit. Um, I have to kill this off. I can't, I have to just go face with that. We'll probably play you next turn if I can't find a two drop. This is actually really tilting. Reverberations. I wiped the board though. Still no two drop. This has to be super unlucky. Hollow Hound comes down on turn six. Lord Thamar on turn seven. Reno on turn eight. I just have to figure out what to do on turn five. Ah, my new pet. Ah, my new pet. Really? Come on, man. Still no two drops. That's crazy. We play Hollow Hound next turn. I was hoping to find a two drop. I would have coined out Reno. If I can't get that, that's fine. I think it should still be okay. Like this still plays into Hollow Hound very nicely. Hollow Hound still pops off here. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. I kind of want to kill off my 4-4 to summon the 3-3 three three so he doesn't get anything. And then go boom, and then kill us off. Still no two drops. Still quite crazy to me. 
but we're at 35 HP against the Shadow Priest on turn six, and we have Reno coming up soon. I do think that this game is pretty much a win. I also think I'm gonna take out Lorthamar. Lorthamar is cool and all, but it's so hard for him to consistently hit King Crush. And then you have to also draw King Crush. And like, there are other minions that get pumped up, I guess, but it's just not enough in my opinion to warrant it. We could run like another three drop or something, I don't know. We'll see. I also think I should take out this Faithful Companion too. I don't know, it's weird. Cause like Faithful Companion was better when I ran the um the the Thunderbringer or whatever, but it's just not good. Wait. Okay, they're Hunter Secrets, fine. It just felt it just made the deck feel so incredibly slow. Still no one drops. Alright, emergency maneuvers, it's gonna come back. Are you explosive? That would be sad. Probably. Yeah. It's my bad. I should've, I should've, no, it wouldn't have mattered how I hit, actually. I guess my 3-3 wouldn't have died. I was hoping it was freezing trap, so it would bounce back to my hand, the Hollow Hound. I actually don't know why I did that. That was a misplay. Just straight up. You wanna know the funniest thing? That Reborn and probably some Death Rattles too and all these minions don't matter because I'm just gonna make them all go to the Shadow Realm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's high noon. They're all gone. It's, it's just donezo. They're gonna concede after this. What do they do? They lost one of their legendaries. They lost the board that they had and now they're basically doomed. Like, what do they do? What do they do? What do I want, maybe, instead of Lorthamar? I mean, Lorthamar's still good. It just feels weird having him in there, you know? What's your rating out of 10 in terms of fun for this expansion? Uh, Warlock included? It's like a four. Snake Warlock is just the absolute worst. Um, Let's draw a card. King Crushed coming up next turn. It's kind of insane. Counter their next, I want to say minion. I think they're going to try to play like the Titan or something. And then we'll discover a spell. I guess I could have discovered a spell first, but this is fine. We'll take star power. In case they somehow regain a board or I need to kill something, it doesn't really matter. We should win the game with King Crush next turn anyway. But the problem is, um, not a huge fan of Snake Warlock. It feels really, really bad to play against. They're able to basically steal your HP and just kill everything so, so easily. Um... But I'm actually having fun against a decent number of other things. I can easily see it getting very annoying soon. Uh, like Dragon Paladin or Highlander, not Paladin, sorry, Dragon Druid or Highlander Druid. I could see it being very, very frustrating, right? Because like the amount of value that they can get from Highlander Druid or um, Pure Paladin, if that stays a thing or anything else, like they can get quite a lot of stuff. But Elemental Shaman is good and I love Elemental. This is going to be a battle of the ages. The penalty for treason is death. I'm ready. We don't want any of the expensive cards, but a one drop, this four drop, potentially usable on a stealth minion, very good. I'm also fine with Mr. Mukla. Favorite musical band? I don't really know. I just listen to a whole bunch of stuff. No way this guy has a sick curve like me, right? No way this guy has a sick curve like me going a 40 card Highlander deck. It, I refuse to believe it. So what I'm gonna do is he's gonna hit with both of his. Then what I'm gonna do is, boom, double bananas, ba ba, and take out both of his snakes, no problem. Nothing he can do about it. Nothing he can do. I guess he has another one drop. Oh, wait, what? Why would he do that? Why? It does that, up. Do I forge this? Obviously this is happening. That has to happen. Um, I could keep you stealthed and just play you. Yeah, sure, why not? I guess we'll probably go with Hollow Hound if we can find it, yeah. Because I think healing in this matchup might be more beneficial. And then we'll hold that. We'll probably coin out the camouflage mount. 
All right. I think what we do is we play the Titan Forge traps. We we coin it out next turn. We we um we play it all. We forge it and then and then coin it out. I mean, emergency maneuvers isn't the worst thing in the world. Zombies is interesting. What does he play for four mana? I don't really think he plays anything for four mana that zombies actually kills. So I think it's got to be emergency maneuvers. I mean, it'll give me a stealth minion back, I guess. Bait and switch? I'll do bait and switch. I want him to hit the 1-1. One -one. It's emergency maneuvers. And then we also have bait and switch possibly, which is good. Dang, he ignores it like a jerk. That's so cringe. Those secrets were so bad. I didn't get offered hidden meaning at all, dude. Do I just lose off of that? I mean, I'll hit. It's probably bait and switch, which makes me really sad. You got cat trick. That sucks. That's fine. He gets a weapon. I don't think I die in the next two turns. I'll also have two hollow hounds to come back. So like, I don't hate it, but it's not great. Yo, new account lost my last password. Well, who are you, my friend? Just saw the stream here. Explain the curse. Uh. Excavation Warlock doing? No, it's it's super strong. It's insane. The bait and switch though, beautiful, beautiful. We know that it's either bait and switch or emergency maneuvers. I would actually be happy with him killing the one one stealth because again, it's stealth. Like I actually like that. I'm gonna kill if I can the four three. I'm gonna kill the four three if it's bait and switch. That sucks, but like there's nothing I can really do about it. Ah, uh, yeah. It lives. That's unfortunate. It's not that big of a deal, though. I can't really, I can't really change that. Um, you can't attack. So let's go. Boom. Into, I guess, boom for a bonus effect, and we'll hit with him next turn. Reborn is interesting. Reborn's interesting because it'll have stealth again, which is some good damage. I'm trolling Hollow Hound would kill off some minions because the four ones there, but it would also die. That's not great. God damn it. King Mukla in the middle, rush in. These all go face. Force him to do something. He can hit Oh, he hits Hollow Hound. Hollow Hound actually wrecks me. Shoot! This'll die, but it'll bring something back. He'll heal up a ton. Do you have Hollow Hound? Based on the way you're attacking, I'm gonna say no, you don't. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Doesn't really matter though. Hollow Hound, like, what am I supposed to do there? I'm gonna lose to Hollow Hound regardless. I lose to Hollow Hound regardless, so we might as well pump this up so it doesn't die. I mean, I'm pretty sure we just win off of this, right? Hero power, this goes face, this goes face. I tried to play around Hollow Hound by putting my biggest minion in the middle, and it would have had to die if he hit it. But the problem is, the weapon still would have healed him up a ton because it would have had five attack. Like lately, only classes that are in the game that are good are Druid, Rogue, and Warlock. Um, I mean, Face Hunter and Paladin also exist, but I 100% I, I see your point. Let's take this, it's a, Turn two, three, four. I don't really need star power. We need to play Okani to try to stop like a minion from getting played or something. I don't know. But no, yeah, they, I don't know why. They refuse to make rogue or druid weak ever. And I don't like the way that those classes play most of the time. Uh, <clears throat> and then on top of that, you have warlock right now, which is just like cheating out victories while having insane just 
survivability. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, we're gonna do this. I don't really want zombies. They die to pretty much anything. I'll take motion denied, I guess, because there's a world where when they play cards, they could maybe take damage. Cat trick is fine, I, I guess. It's not great, but I'll deal with it. But I don't know, it's just, there's so much mana cheat and just like silly stuff in the game, I think. I didn't get offered hidden meaning, which is crazy. I really needed to push that damage, I think. I like wild spirits, I like hidden meaning, but I think wild spirits will be better. No, after the nerf, I feel like wild spirits is pretty bad. I'm down to take this because it's also cheaper and it gives me a charge minion, essentially. Thank you for the follow, Russian... I don't know how to say that, sorry. Hello, first time in your Twitch stream. You are the best. You should... Tr uh, how should I control this new Warlock? Warlock deck, I think, is broken. Honestly, you really can't. This, this deck is just insane. We're gonna do this and we're gonna stop a minion from being played. So that way it tries to stop this, but it, yeah, this deck is really just unstoppable. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I wish that there was a blueprint to beating it and like Theotar or maybe Dirty Rat to snipe the snake. But even so, they're gonna get out giant seven sevens for cheap. There's not really much you can do about that. They wanna play their six four rush minion, but I'm trying to stop that. Interesting, they're willing to get rid of a youthful brewmaster. That's actually very, very good for me. That definitely slows them down quite a bit. If I were them, I wouldn't hit, yeah. Um, I could just put it on this. Rather than playing two minions, let's just do that. Not impressed. What's the, what's the bonus effect? Oh, it got Rush. See, I wish it said what the bonus effect was. A random bonus effect. I wish it like transformed while it was in my hand, you know? I wish it transformed while it was in my hand so I could know what it is. I didn't get bait and switch, but bait and switch wouldn't have mattered. Motion deny, that's not gonna do anything. Actually, it could do six damage right now and they played a spell so I get cat trick, which is pretty solid, I guess, but. Okay, cat trick comes down. They play the minion, it's motion denied. I'm pretty sure I just win this turn. Sure, uh, it's GG, right? They take six damage. I get a five attack weapon with the dude and it's just, it's, it's, it's Jor. I mean, you can beat them if they don't have defile like on curve, right? Like there, there's ways where you can beat them if they get unlucky, like they didn't get the seven, seven taunt, but if they get their good cards, it just feels so oppressive. I don't know. And like this expansion again, it seems like Rogue and Druid got the best stuff along with Warlock. And it's just like, that's what last expansion was, except for Aggro uh, Arcane Hunter. That was also broken.